Welcome back. Joining us now is Jack Schaefer of ZLC Financial Group. Welcome, Jack. Hi, Michelle. Jack, in um, the story we uh, had about Paul Carson, he talked about a special kind of insurance that really was helpful to him. What exactly is critical illness insurance? Well, Michelle, critical illness insurance is a policy of insurance that pays a lump sum tax-free benefit 30 days after diagnosis of one of up to 25 life-threatening illnesses and 30 days after surviving a heart attack or a stroke. Uh, it sounds like it's fairly comprehensive, but what kind of illnesses are we talking about? Well, um, certainly what we call the big four, heart attack, cancer, stroke, coronary artery bypass surgery, those are covered. In addition to that, um, other ailments include benign brain tumor, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, kidney failure, and in addition to that, severe burns, coma, loss of speech, and deafness are covered. So what are the odds of, of uh, someone incurring one of these critical illnesses? Well, the odds are quite staggering, actually. Um, for men, the odds of developing heart disease during their lifetime is one in two. For women, it's one in three. For cancer, for men, it's one in 2.3. For women, one in 2.6. And consider the fact that 40 to 50,000 Canadians suffer a stroke each year. But you know, you don't even have to look at the statistics. Just think of your own circle of friends, family, acquaintances, and how many of those people have been diagnosed with cancer, had a heart attack or a stroke, or been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. Most of us have been touched directly or indirectly by a critical illness. Yes, uh, so um, one of these things happens to you. You say the policy pays out after 30 days. Uh, what's the likelihood of someone surviving this up to the 30-day uh, point? To Pretty be good. Pretty good. Medical science has made some great advancements over the years. Uh, for those people who suffer a heart attack and get to the hospital, 80% um, survive. Um, for, for strokes, 85% of people survive the initial stroke. And in cancer, uh, for those people over the age of 30, there's a 62% chance of that person living five years or more. So if the odds are in fact pretty good for someone dealing with a critical illness, then the uh, insurance policy's got to be pretty expensive. Well, there's no doubt the cost of a critical illness insurance is, is higher than, than term life insurance, for example. Um, and quite frankly, the reason for that is the odds of paying off are a lot better than, than a life insurance policy. Um, but there are different terms and types of insurance, and even though they can be purchased up to an amount of $2 million. Most of the policies we see are issued for amounts of between $100,000 and $500,000. And there's variable terms available so that uh, the cost is manageable. Um, is it possible to give an example of cost, or it's so individual for each case? Well, it's individual for each age group. For an individual who is maybe 40, the cost of $100,000 of a 10-year term critical illness policy is probably going to run around $50 a month. How hard is it to qualify for this insurance? Well, it definitely is more difficult to qualify for life insurance. Um, they take family consideration into, into account, so they're looking at any genetic diseases or inheritable diseases. And, um, but, but the procedures to qualify for it are pretty much the same. Now, for those people that have already suffered a critical illness, although they may be able to get life insurance, they wouldn't be eligible for critical illness coverage. But the only way you can really determine your eligibility is to apply for the coverage. Okay, so in considering applying it, when you're looking at an overall financial plan uh, as, you're, as you're moving north of 49, what role would critical uh, in, um, illness insurance play in, in the big picture of what one is thinking about? Well, if you take a look at the wealth that most Canadians have created, uh, the majority of them that wealth is represented by the registered savings plans and the equity in their home. So if an individual has to dip into their retirement savings plans and, and take that money out and pay tax on it or take a mortgage on their home, that's a, that's a great stress on that individual who's also trying to recover at the same time. And I, Paul alluded to this in the video that the, the fact that he had less stress because of the financial uh, payment of the, the critical illness insurance aided in his recovery. 
So for many individuals in their financial planning, this is risk management to guarantee that the retirement funds remain intact if they have or their loved ones have a critical illness. Okay, thank you, Jack Shea, for good information. Thanks, Michelle. North of 49, a guide to the rest of your life.